This is the course information video for A-Level Film Studies at Haslingdon High School 6th Form. Film is one of the main cultural innovations of the 20th century and a major art form of the last 100 years. Those who study film characteristically bring with them a high degree of enthusiasm and excitement for what is a powerful and culturally significant medium, inspiring a range of responses from the emotional to the reflective. Film studies consequently makes an important contribution to the curriculum, offering the opportunity to investigate how film works both as a medium of representation and as an aesthetic medium. And at the end of this PowerPoint, I'll be talking through some of the job opportunities and the career prospects that studying film can lead you towards. We follow the WJC EDUCAS specification, and that's designed to introduce A-level students to a wide variety of films in order to broaden your knowledge and understanding of film and the range of responses that films can generate. Please do not take this option if you think it's going to be watching all Hollywood blockbusters. Because you will have the opportunities to study, yes, mainstream American films, but ones from the past and the present, as well as a range of recent contemporary British films, American independent films and global films, both non-English language and English language. The historical range of film represented in the films is extended by the study of silent film and significant film movements so that you get to gain a sense of the development of film from its very early years to the way it's still emerging with its digital future. Studies in documentary, experimental and short film add to the, the huge breadth of this learning experience. As well as studying and analysing existing films, production work is a crucial part of this specification and is integral to your study of film. After studying that diverse range of films from several different contexts, it's designed to give you the opportunity to apply your knowledge and understanding of how films are constructed to your own filmmaking and screenwriting. This is intended to enable you to create high quality film and screenplay work of your own, as well as provide an informed filmmaker's perspective of your own study of film. So, the specification content in brief. Component one is made up of three sections, is worth 35% of the overall marks and is a two hour and 30 minute exam. Component two has four sections, is also 35% of the overall marks and is also a two and a half hour exam. Component three, the production, your own piece of filmmaking is worth 30% of your overall marks. Component one, this is where you will study varieties of film and filmmaking. We have section A, Hollywood 1930 to 1990, comparative study. Section B, American film since 2005, a two film study. And section C, British film since 1995, a two film study also. Component one, section A, looks at Hollywood. And we choose two Hollywood films for comparison. One from group one, which covers classical Hollywood period from 1930 to 1960, Vertigo, a fantastic thriller and some like it hot classic comedy. And we would compare those with a film from Group 2, which covers New Hollywood, 1961 to 1990, with One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Apocalypse Now or Blade Runner as options for us in those sections. Section B takes films from much more recent time period. But the, here we look at a film from the mainstream group, Group 1, and we also look at a film from the contemporary independent film section produced after 2010. So Winter's Bone or Boyhood are two films that you are likely to have heard of from that section. Winter's Bone and Francis Ha both have strong female protagonists, which is a really interesting area of film now. Section C gives us the opportunity to study British films since 2005. And I'm sure there's a number on this list that you'll recognise. We need to talk about Kevin explores families and the secrets harboured within them, contrasting narrative structures, while train spotting and This Is England raise questions about different kinds of social and national identities within two fundamentally linear narratives. Shaun of the Dead combines horror and comedy, whereas Moon and Under the Skin explore different worlds, both psychological and genre-based through innovative narratives. Component 1, Section C is another, I think, very exciting section and it looks at British films since 2005 and again, there'll be a number of films here that you will have come across or heard of. 
We've got Train Spotting from 1996, Shaun of the Dead, This Is England. And another one that you may not have come across, but we need to talk about Kevin, a very clever, very dark film. So our component two overview looks at global filmmaking perspectives. This is another written exam for two and a half hours long. Section A looks at global film and is a two film study. Section B looks at documentary film. Section C is uh, zooming in on film movements. And this is, in this case, it's silent cinema. And section D looks at film movements, experimental film. You can see here what choices of questions you will get for each section. Component 2, Section A, Global Film, gives you the opportunity to study uh, one non-English language European film, which is from Group 1, and one non-English language film produced outside of Europe, and that's in Group 2. Component 2, Section B, looks at documentary film. And the documentary film in its contemporary form has become a much freer form using a range of cinematic techniques in lots more creative ways to tell factual stories. And a couple of the films that we could choose from this section might appeal to those of you who have a, a strong interest in music. 20,000 Days on Earth um, looks at the subject uh, musician Nick Cave, where Amy is um, a documentary all about uh, Amy Winehouse, based almost entirely on home video footage brought together to create a portrait of Amy Winehouse. Section C is an opportunity to go right back to the beginning of cinema and look at film movements looking at silent cinema. Whereas component two, section D, gives us the opportunity to look at experimental film. So alternatives to mainstream films that we've become used to um, with, with Hollywood blockbusters. And here we're, more, we're most likely to uh, watch Pulp Fiction uh, as it's such a, a significant film from 1994. And then finally, component three, it says here it's a non-exam assessment, which means essentially it's kind of a piece of coursework. You will be given a brief and you are given two options, two production options. Option one is to create a short film, four to five minutes long. Or option two is to write a screenplay for a short film, which should be 1600 to 1800 words long. For either one of those options, you have to provide a written evaluation explaining your filmmaker's choices there. You can see here an example of a production brief uh, given to us by the exam board. This will help you to plan and prepare your production and to ensure that you're meeting the, uh, the exam board specifications. And here is an example brief for your evaluative analysis. Students are expected to complete an evaluative analysis of their production, as I say, between 1600 and 18 words long, and make reference to any other short films that you have studied in preparation for your own piece of production. So... In brief, you will study 11 films in total. For each of those films, you'll study three core study areas. And then within that, there are six specialist study areas which you're required to study in relation to specific films only. The core study areas are key elements of film form, cinematography, so knowing your camera angles, knowing how cameras work, mise-en-scene, what props, what costumes, what's in that scene that we can see, editing and sound. We'll look at meaning and response, including representation and aesthetics. So how are women presented? How is ethnicity presented? And so on. And for three, the context of films. So what was happening in and around the world when these films were made that can be seen in their influence? And the additional areas of study are spectatorship, narrative, how that story is being told, ideology, auteur, critical debates and filmmakers theories. So now that you know what the course is all about, why would you take Film Studies A-Level? What can it do for you? What might it do for you while you're here at Hazland and High Sixth Form? Well, first of all, as you can see on this slide, this is just the top of one image of careers in filmmaking and where people might fit in with Film Studies or Media Studies uh, qualifications. So you've got jobs in the Development and Pre-Production section. You've got jobs in the Production, the Principal ph uh, Photography section. And that carries on. And then there's also careers and job opportunities in the post-production and editing sections. So I'm sure as you can see from those, from transportation coordinator to visual effects supervisor, there is a huge range of options open for someone wanting to work in the media industry. 
So should you choose to take A-level film studies, does it fit with some of your other choices at sixth form? It could be a good break or a very different style of learning from a scientific or maths-based subject. It obviously fits with English literature and English language, of course. You need those analytical skills. History, psychology and sociology. We study some very similar academic sources and cover a lot of the same ideas, such as social context and ideology. It links closely to business studies due to the study of institutions and business within the film industry. It links to modern foreign languages. We look at foreign films and film students could run the half-termly International Film Night. It also could link to music, performing arts, our media, C-Tech and art and design, all creative subjects using creative skills. So if you have any further questions or you want to know anything else, there are two email addresses here on this slide for you. So you can contact me, Mrs Smithson, I'm the lead teacher for media and film in, in Haslingdon and that's vsmithson at haslingdonhigh.com or our head of faculty, Mr Shaw, is dshaw at haslingdonhigh.com. So I look forward to being able to answer any questions you may have or seeing you at the taster sessions.